and welcome everyone to Expert Sessions. My name's Luke. And my name is Grace. And today we are exploring how Samsung devices work even better together. This is all made possible because of your Samsung account. When signed in across all devices, it allows you to seamlessly connect them and experience the true power of the Galaxy ecosystem. Yeah, we'll look at three features that make multitasking and sharing effortless. Second screen, quick share, and copy and pasting across devices. These are game changers for anyone using a Galaxy phone, tablet, or laptop. Let's see how they fit into your daily routine. First up, we're gonna talk second screen. Ever wish your laptop had a bit more screen space when working or creating? Well, with second screen, your Galaxy Tab turns into a wireless extra display for your Galaxy Book or PC. Let me show you how it's done. So let me show you how easy it is to turn on second screen and use both your Galaxy Book screen and your tablet screen. All you need to do, swipe down for the far right hand side to access your quick panel, Third row down towards the end, it's second screen, click on that. And then you'll see on your tablet, it tells you all the information and instructions you need to do on your Galaxy book screen. So actually you need to press Windows and K at the same time. So Grace, would you mind pressing the Windows key and K at the same time? And then we've got a few options down here on the right hand side. Grace, would you mind connecting to the tablet? Give it a couple of seconds. And there we go. We've got the same screen. We duplicated that screen from the Galaxy Book over to the Tab S11. Grace, can you click on um, second screen only, please? So there's a couple of different options you can use. I've clicked on second screen only. Now we've just got the tablet screen up and we're not using the Galaxy Book screen. And finally, if you wanted to disconnect, right at the bottom, there is a disconnect. So Grace, would you mind just scrolling across using the mouse and pressing disconnect? Once you've disconnected it, the tablet screen goes back to its normal tablet screen and the Galaxy Book is at its normal home screen as well. So there you go. That's how you use second screen. Instant dual screen setup. No cables, no hassle. Second screen is perfect for multitasking, editing while you work. Grace, has there ever been a time second screen has really come through for you? Always when I'm out and about, especially with this job, in a coffee shop, I love having my phone open because I use the fold and then my laptop open at the same time. Just having both displays up just makes everything so much easier to work with. What about you? You know what, with work, we, we do a lot of reporting. So having a second screen with like an Excel document on with all the information and on my other screen, I have a Word document completing my reporting. So, so useful. Okay, next up, we are going to be talking about quick share. Now, have you ever tried emailing photos or videos just to get them from your phone to your laptop or to a friend's device? Well, QuickShare makes that struggle a thing of the past. You can send large files instantly, no cables or third-party apps needed. And this is how you do it. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to use a QuickShare and I'm gonna send a photo from my phone to my tablet. First of all, we need a photo to send. I'm gonna open up my camera. Luke, would you like to get my photo? Yeah, of course. You could be happy about it. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be happy about that? Good. All right, now we need to see if QuickShare is enabled on our device. So what you need to do is swipe down from our device on the right-hand side. And that is going to open up our quick panel. Swipe down again in the middle and you'll see the quick share button. Now it might be in a different position on your device, but it's usually in the middle. And what you need to do is just press and hold that to open it. And as you can see on the screen, you've got who can share with you. So if you click on that, you can have three different options. You can choose everyone or everyone only for 10 minutes. You've got share from contacts only, or you could set it to no one, but we're gonna keep it on everyone. Click done. And now we're gonna send our photo. So we're gonna go back Click on our photo of myself and Luke. Now, right at the bottom, you've got the buttons. Next to the Galaxy AI key, you've got the share button. Give that a press. Now, you've already got instant buttons for you to quick share between different devices, but if it's not coming up, you do have the quick share button as well. So press on that. And there we have the different options. And I'm gonna send it to contents tab S11, which is this tab right here. Quick press on that. 
And as you can see, it has popped up instantly on our tab. Click open and there we have it. That photo has instantly been shared from our phone to our tab. Nice and easy using QuickShare. And there we go. It's secure, fast and seamless and even works on phones, tablets and PCs in your Samsung ecosystem. You know what, Grace, how many times for work do we have to share photos and videos? Imagine how much easier it will be with QuickShare. Yes, all the time. I'm constantly having to take photos and then if I need to put them on my uh, laptop for a PowerPoint, QuickShare is just the easiest way. And you don't lose any quality of, of those photos or videos when you're using QuickShare, which, which is amazing. You know what? It's a really good point, not losing any of that quality. And also, you can share photos and videos to your friends on competitor devices using a QR code so it can keep all that quality across anybody's device. And finally, let's talk about copy and paste across devices. It's all about fluid experiences, no interruptions and no lost information. Just seamless content switching. Imagine if you get a link sent to your phone for a video, but you want to watch said video on a slightly larger tablet or PC screen. Let me show you how to use copy and paste on other devices. So let me show you how to use copy and paste across devices. Remember, we need to have the same Samsung account logged into both devices. I'm using the very fabulous Samsung Galaxy S25 Edge and the brand new Tab S11. What I've been doing is I've been doing a bit of extra research about this very lovely device, this Samsung Galaxy S25 Edge. Uh, I've got some text there. What I wanna do is I wanna copy an image from the Samsung internet and put it at the top of all the text I've created there. So I'm gonna load up my Samsung internet. I like the look of that very first photo. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna push and hold on that. I'm gonna press on copy image. And then I'm gonna get myself over to my Samsung notes file here. I'm gonna push and hold right at the top. And I simply press paste. And there we can see that image is now above my text. Could have been simpler. And if I really wanted to, I can go into it and resize it to make it a nice big header above all of my text. So there we go, copy and paste across multiple devices with that same Samsung account. So Grace, when do you think copy and paste on other devices would be most useful for you? I always tend to use it when either my sister or my friend sends me a link on my phone for a message, but then I want to view it on my tablet just so I can so see it on a larger screen. Yeah. So I always use copy and paste for that. If we're going on a day out, if they sent me somewhere for us to go, just viewing it on my tablet makes it so much easier. You? Well, copy and pasting on other devices works with links and photos, but you can also share files. So again, with work, I can get a event report sent to my mobile phone, but I want to copy that onto my tablet to view it on a slightly larger screen. So yeah, so, so useful for that. Now for a recap of today's expert session. So whether you're working, sharing or switching devices, Samsung's ecosystem keeps everything connected and effortless. So we spoke about firstly, second screen, turning your Galaxy Tab into a wireless display for your Galaxy Book or PC. Then Grace spoke about QuickShare, where you can send photos and videos, keeping that quality, as well as sending files instantly across your Galaxy devices. And then finally, Luke told us all about copy and pasting across your devices, where you can copy text, images, files, and videos. Your devices aren't just powerful on their own, they're even smarter together. Thanks for watching and learning with us today. And if you've enjoyed this session, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more Samsung Expert sessions. There you go. And be sure to share this video with anyone who would love to get more out of their Samsung device. That's it. We'll see you next time. Bye.